Okay, welcome back to my let's play of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order on the PC. We're in the, uh, um, the, the Technodrome, um, the Sith Imperial Fortress. I don't know, the, the bad place. We're in a bad place. And through that door is, uh, it's an evil lady, um, Trilla, who wants to kill us, and we're not going to let her. Well, we already let her do it once, but never again. Hopefully. She's a tricky fight. It's a tricky fight. Uh, we're gonna do our best. Promise parries. It's really not a great idea to go for parries if you can't do it for certain. I'm going to enjoy I'll say that if you're going to try to go for it, it's better to be more cautious than not. This is the end, Padawan. What? Come on. BD, stim here. As in, it's better to block than to just whiff it completely. Such poor aim. Fuck, I keep forgetting about that. I keep forgetting about it. I keep thinking she's gonna stim. fly in. Damn. Well, at least she didn't kill me. It was the droid, so it's okay. I'm still a man of my word. It said to switch. It gave me the hot the hotkey for switching lightsaber types. I can't imagine this would be better, but I guess it's sort of even. Then we both have double bladed lightsaber. Give it a try, because I like it. You can't escape. just seems like it does less damage is all <laughs> which is exactly what it does right here bud Your head. Okay, that's sort of good. Oh shit. You'll die just like your mother. Such poor aim. Dude, I am no. I don't know why you, you would ever use double blade a lightsaber aside from very specific situations <sighs> involving like rapid blasts from blasters. <clears throat> Otherwise, the single bladed is better in every way, which is really unfortunate to me. I wish it wasn't, but that's the way it is. 
Now, another factor is, of course, that we haven't really done much side investigations or whatever. I'm sure we could have You'll pay dearly for that. more stims in a perfect world. As I have. You won't be standing much longer. God damn it. I feel like breaking her stamina should be like an insta kill Because if you're good enough to do that, I mean, I feel like you you got it in the bag It seems crazy A lot of very specific parries and I don't know if that's the route I should be going for. I'm holding the block button, I hit attack, and that, that's what happened. God, I don't want to do that. I guess I kind of do, but... I want it to be more... Forget. Yeah, it is the end because I can't actually heal. I need Fuck help. Off. Fuck off. Eventually, you gotta fuck up. Thank you. Unblockable, undodgeable attack. Yeah, that's real fucking fair. And then they do this blindness shit. Oh my god. Dude, that's nuts. That's not that that attack is not fair in any realm of thinking. I mean, look at like Wind's Grab from Dark Souls 1 and look at that. That's, that's just absurd. Holy shit. This is a really fucking tough fight compared to everything else in this game. Shit, look at how much damage your fucking kick did. Oh, Another step.
don't know what to do. Maybe I have to force push her, but if you don't have the force to spare, you're fucked. So little damage. Oh, don't do the double. My God, I actually broke her guard. Get exploded! Fuck! Pathetic. You're pathetic! Yep! ever truly over us fight is over i know the darkness that is eating you up inside and every day we choose to either feed it or fight it it's too late sir no it's not i know the choices that i made took all your choices away and i have failed you trilla i failed you but i am so very sorry I've carried so much hate for you. Get out of here. Come on. Stay back. 
I was thinking like I think we lost him. Yeah, I've been rewatching all the Star Wars movies. I'll make it. See her. I won't fail you. You get to Rogue One. At the end, Darth Vader's just a fucking bad ass. And then you get to episode four, reading? five, and six, and it's responding. like, eh. They will. I am certain of it. Grease, I'm here. Heading towards the surface. Be ready. I have the holocron, but see her. She didn't make it, Grease. See her? Just get out of there, cow. <laughs> He's like, never cool again after the end of Rogue One. But this. God. <laughs> Surrender the holocron. I'll never give it to you. We shall see. Oh my god. I won't let you take those children. Such hatred. You would have made an excellent Inquisitor. She's stronger than that. No, no! Yes. Strong with the dark side. See her. I can feel it inside of her. See her! See her! Hey, listen to me! You still have a choice. Kid. Cow. Cow. See her. She's all right. She's all right. <laughs> you too. You did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, careful. Uh, where are they? Well, they're out there. Whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. Sorry. That was you in the water, wasn't it? I'm glad you're okay. This one wouldn't leave your side. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Well, now what? Well, Captain, this is the end of my charter. Your contract has been fulfilled. Thank you, Grease. Well, if it's all the same to you, I was thinking that maybe I would stick around here and take you wherever you gotta go. Besides, the kid kind of looks up to me. What about that? We use it. 
to rebuild the Jedi Order. The next generation of Jedi. The Empire will be after them. Just like they're after us. The lives of every child on that list will be forever changed. Not by us. Their destiny should be trusted to the Force. So where to now? Yeah, and you wonder why the Jedi are rarely successful. <laughs> okay. Trust in the Force. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, it's good. I mean, first of all, it's a good game. It's uh, certainly in my top 10 for the year. It's probably one of the best Star Wars games ever made. Although that's not saying a super mom but there's some there's some competition in there but yeah it's it's very good um thematically very cool some awesome levels uh platforming was good um the force powers were all really satisfying lightsaber combat is pretty sweet you know you feel like a jedi which we haven't really gotten the, uh, the, that experience in quite a while. So, it's, it's very good. It's not perfect, though. I would say the story is pretty lackluster. I mean, it, you know, they... They cram it into this, like, current timeline, and this right into the middle of these, you know, the films. But then it's like, you're really restricting yourself. You can't do anything that big. I'm shocked they even threw Vader in there. Let alone they stabbed him, which is pretty wild, but okay, you can have Vader in there, but you can't you can't, you know, you know he's never gonna die, so whatever. Um You have this the whole plot are with these four sensitive kids, and it's like, you know that's not really gonna result in anything. Uh so alright, the so they just destroy it at the end, because there you go, it's all neat and tidy. Nothing happened! You know, these characters are meaningless within the store, the main story, which it's not like you need to have, you know, every game needs to have some world saving plot or anything like that. But I don't know, I, I get, I mean, I should never critique stories. Like, I don't, this is not really my focus, but whatever. Um... Well, another problem, I guess, is I felt very little incentive to explore or anything or do any side stuff. Um, mechanically, the only benefits of exploring, I guess, is scrounging around for some health and force increases, which seem pretty rare. Uh, stim increases, which also seemed really rare. And skill points, which I was pretty much done with. There wasn't too much I really needed. So, I mean, I could have gone back all to the other planets and found more ponchos, but uh, whatever. So, and that was just their, their, their game design decision was to not have, like, equipment and, you know, things like that and incentives to, and to sort of keep the skill tree pretty slim and just have more of a focused experience from start to finish, which is, perfectly fine it's it's the way many games were done uh, a decade ago <sighs> um i don't have any real problem with that i suppose it's just i like i like those things <laughs> you know it's it's not it doesn't make it a bad game it's just not it's hard to say i guess i think a lot of the issue is, is that I want to compare it so much to the Soulsborne series. 
And I don't know if they purposefully and like invited these comparisons or if it's just me being like, oh, we have a third person action game with really, you know, really focused combat, you know, where you like that final battle. It's hard to argue that that's not very similar to like a Sekiro boss battle. You know, it's, it's very focused. It requires specific timing with inputs as far as parrying and attacks and when to heal and blah, blah, blah. Um, and the problem is, if you're going to compare the two, is that a game like Sekiro has really, like, perfect timing for its combat. Like, its combat is... They've spent years, you know, working on these types of games. Whereas Respawn has not. You know, they, they did, like... Titanfall 2. Very different. Very, I mean, that's a completely different game. So for their, for their, I don't know if it's their exact first effort, I'd have to look at their history of as far as like third person action games. Uh, but if it is their first effort in, in that style, it was certainly very good. But the parry timing and, you know, certain things just don't feel as perfect as I want them to be. Um, it's hard to say. I mean, these are relatively minor gripes. Like I said, it's a very good game. I just don't know how likely I am to replay it. Because the thing, like, Soulsborne games... Uh, Sekiro excluded. S yeah. The reason you replay, I re I like to replay them a bunch is to try different, like, builds. Now, I'm going to do Pyromancy this time. Or I'm going to use, uh, the Kirkhammer this time. You know, you can do different things and make the playthrough feel pretty different. With this, there's really, I mean, what's the variety here? I'm going to use a different poncho in this playthrough. You know, I, I could do a whole playthrough with the double-bladed lightsaber if I want to just gimp myself, but it's not really different, is it? Um, so it's a very good game. I just don't know if I'll replay it ever, which is not necessary to have replayability, but in today's world, it's a nice thing to have. I'm just bringing up any negatives that I can think of, so it's not just like, yeah, it was a good game, we're done, okay. Because uh, it was a good game, I think that's pretty clear. And I certainly hope to see a sequel, you know, where they expand on things and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, and I hope to see plenty of more Star Wars games of this caliber, I think that would be awesome. If this is like the new benchmark for Star Wars games, that'd be awesome. But all through and through, it is done. Unless there's something after the credits that teases Luke Skywalker or something. No. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff, though. Cool game. It, you know, it's after so many years of just a lot of questionable shitty Star Wars games and it's a lot of bullshit. It's nice to have a really solid single player only game. Since I have a little time, let me just look here. Let's look at what Star Wars video games we've had in the last decade. Let's just look from 2009 on. I mean, like, when, when episodes 1 and 2 and 3 came out, there were a slew of video games. Especially episode... I mean, episode 1 just... Oh, God. There's so much shit. Like, fucking the pod racing game and... Uh, Star Wars Obi-Wan for Xbox and... <laughs> Um, the Attack of the Clones game, the Clone Wars, whatever, on PS2 and Xbox and game. I mean, there's just a lot of 
I mean, there was... I mean, we've had gems throughout the last couple decades. Uh, like the Rogue Squadron games was really good. Um, some of the Jedi Knight games were pretty fun. Um, KOTOR, of course, 1 and 2 are great games. There's been some, there's been some stuff, but yeah, man, in the last decade, I'm trying to really just look here. You've had Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Like, the, the remakes. Uh, we had Star Wars The Force Unleashed in 2008, and then Force Unleashed 2 in 2010. I think those are, like, the closest comparison in the Star Wars video game series to Fallen Order. Single-player-only games, their own story, uh, set in the same sort of time movie timeline here. Um, action-packed games. Um, this is certainly better than Forest Unleashed 1 and 2. No doubt about that. And I actually like those games, but they were very sort of brainless. But as far as feeling like a Jedi, it was pretty... They were pretty cool. I mean, that's... We had the Old Republic MMO. But that's honestly sort of it. I mean, Star Wars has been kind of dead in the video game world for the last decade. Which is sad, because it's very right. The, the setting is very ripe. We had that 1313 canceled game where you get to play as uh, Boba Fett. But that just completely fell through, which is sad. I I feel like with the success of this game, the success of The Mandalorian, I would not be shocked if we get a new Bounty Hunter game, uh, which would be very cool. Um, there you go to the Fallen Order page and look at the sales. Electronic Arts confirmed that Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order had the fastest selling digital launch for any Star Wars game within its first two weeks on sale. And it's like, well, no shit. <laughs> There's <laughs> not a whole lot of competition when you just say digital for Star Wars games. There's not many games in that list. It doesn't seem like it sold overwhelmingly good, though. I mean, pretty good, but... Hmm. Interesting. In the UK, it was the second best-selling retail game during its first week on sale. Uh, I don't remember what it was competing against, though. Pokemon, I think. Right? 66% uh, of the sales being for the PS4 version, 34% for Xbox One. That's interesting. I mean, I guess. Why would you own an Xbox One? <laughs> That's another discussion. We're done here. Anyways, my name is Mang. Game you just finished watching is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I'll see you fine folks around.